Oh. Sorry about that. I almost didn't notice you. They're counting all my cash. That's right. I'm rich now. This video goes out to all the broke boys out there trying to make it. You want to figure it out? I'm going to tell you. But first, look at me now. Now look at my money. Now look at me with a cigar and my money. You want this life? Babes clan. I'm in a blazer. Babes clan. How did I do it? Babes clan. I'm going to reveal the secret. Not a secret, though. Babes clan, baby. Babes clan. Let's get serious. Welcome back to Cryptopia. I'm back with another Babes Clan video and this one's gonna be a doozy. Check it out. I'm talking early NFT access, but that's the boring stuff. Let's talk comic book creations, NFT TV shows in the works, space NFT crossover, ushering in a brand new collection, perfume. <laughs> Babes Clan fragrance. Be the metaverse. Smell like the metaverse. Okay, that too, no joke. They're even rescuing, lending a hand to projects on hard times but have huge potential and are putting in the work. And just about every profitable action they've got leads to more money in your pocket if you're an investor. It almost sounds like they don't even pay themselves. The amount of royalties this one project offers its investors has to be the craziest and some of the most ridiculous offers I've ever heard of in NFTs in the NFT space. Did I mention a Bapes AI? Yeah, that's right. They're making an AI that'll be on your phone. It can help you pick NFTs, pick a girlfriend, pick a divorce date, plot a murder. I'm joking about that last one, but low key the way they make this shit sound, you could freaking do it. It would help and never snitch. Do AI snitches get digital stitches? I think they do. Now, when I first came across this project, um, this NFT project, back before it had even launched, I thought, you know, they can't do all of it. It's too much. It's just too much. No one NFT can have all of this power. Keep in mind, half the stuff I just listed wasn't even on the radar the first time I talked about Bapes. But despite the ridiculous level of aim, the hairy digital cojones of this project to not only boast a myriad of ideas and concepts that would be too much for Elon to handle, but to attempt to make it an actual reality and be doing it is astonishing. Welcome back to Cryptopia, where we go over the wet and wild in NFT land, and we're about to go over some of the wettest and wildest I've seen in a long time. Now, if you've seen the other videos I've made on Babes, I've always had a fair amount of skepticism when it comes to this project and any project claiming to want slash be able to do so much. And I still kind of do, but I have to admit that the skepticism is starting to become less and less as I learn more. So, Bape's humble beginnings. From the start, the one thing you really need to understand about Bape's clan is they fucked up hard. First day of launch, failed. Polygon crashed, left them stranded, but they pulled it together and switched over to ETH to save the project a great move. But a lot of the damage had already been done. Coupled that with the FUD in the NFT space around the project, the people looking for something just like this to happen to call out rug. And with all the other rugs, you can't really blame people. I mean, I just did a video the other day on, you know, a, a basey phishing attack from the actual guys who are the community managers. He got hacked. It wasn't the actual guy, but he got hacked. Stuff's still going around. So, but things didn't look great. You see, when Bapes first came out on the scene, they were boasting a collection of 10K NFTs and something like a three ETH start floor on launch date, plus a ton of ideas that at the time were just ideas. Now, the community and fellow NFT creators opted against the high collection and price. And unlike most creators these days in everything or anything really they listened 
The Babes Clan founders changed it up. They slashed the collection to more than I even think they needed to, but down to thir uh, 2300 and dropped the floor price down to 0.3. Take a look at it now. Crazy to be able to bring themselves back up from the depths of hell into NFT Valhalla. Now, where we are now with the Babes. Gen 1. So, Gen 1 sold out the team persevered through the obscurities and rose that floor to a height of six ETH before dropping just a bit, but only a little bit. And maintaining a floor price most projects don't even get to see at all, all while we're kind of in this middle, you know, this NFT downturn, if you will, and sales slash volume have dropped across NFT land. Now, Gen 1 wasn't just and isn't just some PFP project. No offense to any PFP projects out there. But Babes Gen 1 has a few utilities that come along with it. The key one to note is that by holding a Babes, by being a Babes holder, you will be given the chance to become a metavester, as they call it, in projects both in the universe and the metaverse. The last part is their wording. Basically, what they are offering is the ability to reap the rewards of the investment Babes clan or chain tech chain tech the owners of vapes invest in so you get a percentage of every investment made by the company on top of that you get access to the dow allowing you to vote on projects that the company actually puts money into and you know there's free airdrops here and there for example all gen 1 holders get a vapes genesis key or a bg K every 30 days or so, which acts as a VIP whitelist spot for upcoming Bapes drops. This allows them to even sell those BGKs. They don't have to hang on to it and they can make money off of that. So from what I can tell, you know, are sellable. So I believe and you know anyone who knows better can say so in the comments or DM me. My DMs are open to let me know. But BGKs are an NFT collection of 2000. But every Gen 1 NFT that was staked will get a BGK and a PC, another NFT on top of that. So stay with me a little bit here. PCs or parental certificates are another NFT collection. And with the PC NFT, you can combine it with the BGK. You would also... You would have also received from staking because both so you need to stake your babes in order to get these two and be able to mint the babes future the children of babes gen one this will be like what the original babes clan was supposed to be a 10k collection to be minted first and foremost by those that have the gen one and have it staked Next is their project launch pad. Now, a launching pad for new and upcoming NFT projects isn't new per se, but normally the creator, founder, whatever you want to call them, simply offers the, the whitelist spot for some kind of early access. When you're a metavester, metavester, hate saying that, but regardless, as one, you can straight up get a free NFT a free whitelist spot and up to 50% from all the royalties generated from each and every NFT project launched via chain launch, as they're calling it. So most projects simply give you a chance to get in early. These guys provide that, but they also give you a cut of the profits on top of that. You're probably going to hear me say that a lot because frankly, these guys give out a lot of profit i'm not saying that's good and i'm not saying it's bad and you should invest because they're giving all this profit away what i am saying is that most projects don't do this and if they get a fully realized or they fully realize the dream that is babes clan a lot of money can be had did i mention chain tech labs the company you know the ones that own the babes brand holders have a 30 percent ownership of said chain tech labs yeah that's right gen 2 is next on the list with babes gen 2 comes a plethora of new utilities or rather opportunities to line your pockets as i said before gen 1 is also known as the babes of future gen 2 is also known as the babes future with a staked gen 1 you get the required pieces to mint gen 2 with gen 2 comes a brand new marketplace called the Chain Vest, an NFT marketplace. This marketplace is fully owned by Chain Tech Labs and the MetaVestors of Bapes Genesis 2. You own 50% of the trading fees generated from the Chain Vest marketplace, plus an additional 15% from all the royalties generated from each RBT revenue bearing token collection. So it's like owning 50% from all trading fees generated on OpenSea. Rareable. 
or any other NFT marketplace. Goddamn. Imagine owning even a fraction of the sales that OpenSea generates. Insane. But issues are obviously going to be whether or not this marketplace can stand out over all the other marketplaces out there right now. And the many others to come. I'm not sure the full details if this is an you know all may enter marketplace or a niche specific marketplace or how they're going to pick the projects allowed on it um perhaps the DAO will decide as gen 2 will have its own DAO as well but i'm not entirely sure but this would definitely play a a big hand in how the marketplace performs we'll just have to see for now i will keep you updated as i learn you can see the marketplace on the screen right now but it isn't quite ready at least at the time of recording along with this new marketplace comes more free bgks potential free nfts whitelist spots but most importantly the space vapes yes space vapes so space vapes placed on the roadmap far far away at the end of 2022 q4 the fifth collection directly owned by babes are the so-called space babes that will be minted from the international space station yeah from space i've already had my choice words with this this will be a 10k collection that is looking to raise the world's first space meta fund that will invest in the top 10 space technology startups assessed by the, our space industry leaders and legends, whoever those are going to be. So the space babes and the things related to it always start to lose me. Um, the space funds for up and coming space related startups and projects seems cool. And I'm sure there's a fair amount of space related projects out there to invest in that most people aren't really looking at right now and could potentially reap massive rewards for investors in the future. But let me take a line from the white paper one of the most amazing utilities with being a BAPES holder is that we get to travel to space and the International Space Station. Our trip to the ISS is not a gimmick or a cool thing, but a trip with a clear and vivid intention. Your BAPES NFT will become a trained astronaut. That's right, a trained astronaut that will earn a very special NFT patch. I'm assuming that was sarcasm when he said trained astronaut. It's a fucking JPEG. <laughs> but I'm assuming that was sarcasm. I took that from the white paper, which I think may not be exact at the moment, as I'm sure a lot has changed. Um, plus, I mean, it's it reads very dry and serious, but the setup is very comedic, so I'm not exactly sure. Regardless, doesn't really matter. The purpose of the fifth collection is the meta fund, as they call it, for space related company startup basically creating yet another DAO for the owners of these space babe entities to invest in there's a lot of stuff to invest in and basically each babe that you have gives you access to another i don't want to say tier um it's more like a an, another department another section of the overall uh, babes you know etf like conglomerate or index like idea that they got going on there Listen, you need to figure out everything you can about Babes Clan. You don't understand. It's written right on their freaking website in plain freaking English. They are building the largest biobank of human DNA. What does that even mean? I don't even know what it means. That's why we have to infiltrate Babes Clan and figure out what the hell they're doing. They also sell protein bars in a cartoon series. But that's beside the point. The human bank DNA. Everyone seems to be missing that. What we need to do is infiltrate their Discord, understand everything we can about them, and if we find a need to, we invest. Not financial advice, but if you find a need to, to learn what they're planning. The fate of humanity might rest on this. You have your mission. I think they found me. You know what to do. Get it done. So I don't know about the biobank of human DNA stuff, so I'm just going to ignore that part until someone makes a comment about it down below. Now, let's talk metaverses because, of course, they're making one, too. I mean, they don't have enough ways to give you money yet. So part of their Q2 was to launch and finish the construction of Bape's world built on the metaverse NFT worlds. Built on metaverse NFT worlds, right? In there, every meta vester will receive their own tradable NFT apartments. You get a free house, free apartment, blah, blah, blah. On top of that, there will be arenas and stages for events, huge commercial districts where famous brands and new businesses will be able to rent space and sell their products to the inhabitants of the world and visitors 
of the Bape's world. But get this, every purchase made in Bape's world will provide profit to the investor. While am I right? Of course I'm right. Now, there are going to be so many metaverses. Whether this one becomes a place or one of the top places to visit, we'll have to see. I imagine there will be plenty of empty worlds in the future. Hopefully this won't be one of them. Lastly, another primary portion of the Bape's world is the play to earn area where inhabitants and visitors will be able to play to earn tokens, right? You know what PDE basically is. Um, the website says Q2 of this year for a launch, but the Discord says more like four to five years, which, you know, sounds more accurate. Um, so we're going to go probably with that one. We're going to talk a little bit about comics now. So they also have a comic telling the story of Babes and the lore behind them, kind of how they came from a different planet and were, you know, well, they had to, they were forced to leave their planet because a meteor was coming, but they couldn't take everybody. So some people left behind and, you know, they didn't die right away. They still have to go back and save them. But anyways, I'm not sure if this was just a one-off thing to showcase a little of how the Babes got into, uh, into space itself, or if it's ongoing but the series is called babes a new beginning not going to focus any more on this there are other things i want to get into this video let's get back to more of the utility stuff so bloodlines is an entity of its own uh, an up-and-coming project partnered with babes clan that is full of lore the twitter their twitter reads a fully built out universe with um, a 200 year rich history of lore a team focused on building something innovative this project much like the next one i will be mentioning um, deserves its own separate video which i will be doing so for now i'll give my limited understanding of the partnerships between these two with all the history and lore bloodline has the plan so far as i know is to create a tv show where the holders of babes and bloodlines get to kind of vote in some of the creative process um i know they're also looking to hire on people for both oh you know what sorry i i already knew this and i forgot about it still unsure about how where the comic book idea is actually going but a lot of it is already they, they are looking to hire people who have experience in writing and stuff like that um so you know, especially if you're interested in this project and interested in, in being a writer or something like that, maybe check it out, see what they have going on over there. But they do take in the people who are part of the Babes community and sort of have the writers and the people who, you know, the creative team built kind of from them. Like, not everybody, but at least some of them. Um, and so that's really good. So the, the comic book part part probably will exceed, uh, exceed more than just kind of what they have right now at the beginning. And I imagine that the TV show, which, you know, is... I might be the cartoon that they're talking about. I don't think they're looking for live action. I think they're going for animation in this particular regard. So that's kind of the cartoon aspect that they were talking about. Um, I still have to make a more detailed video on this. Um, so don't take everything I'm saying as 100%. Um, I'm going to make a video on the Bloodline stuff, on the comic book stuff, and the, and the next NFT I'm about to talk about. So that's what I know for now. Um, Apians. Apians is another NFT project in its own right that has partnered with Bapes. From my understanding, Apians is also among the first of these sort of rescue the projects. It's not to say that the project was dead in the water, but they had gone through some of their own hardships and struggles on the way through and are now partnered with Bapes. This gives them another community to help showcase their project, their work, to help spread the word of mouth, which is always the best way to actually spread the most things and provide Bapes holders with some early access to things for the future such as the utility from MTG. So MTG, more than a gamer, um, they're providing uh, you know other utilities as well in kind of a another partnership with Bape. So MGT are, uh, MTG are creating a video game that you can play with your NFTs, which is accessible to those that have an Apian, a Bapes, and an MTG NFTs staked. So let me repeat that. Um, if you have an Apian, if you have a Bapes, and if you have MTG NFTs and they're staked, you can all kind of pool into this. And it's like a competitive game with a prize at the ending. From what I understand, it's about $100,000 to start and could rise over time. Um, 
that's all we're going to talk about for that one. Again, I'm going to give each one of these their own respected separate video. Um, perfume. So uh, the last thing is the perfume. I pushed it to the end of this video. I don't have too much to say on this. It's far from the biggest thing they're working on right now. The idea behind it is that they are partnered with a perfume company and will be able to create a perfume unique to those that are part of the Babes clan. And, you know, only Babes clan people can get them. And I believe also there is, you know, a percentage for there's a percentage in terms of sales for the base holders on the perfumes as well but we'll have to clarify that really the main part of that is that they're you know they've got other partnerships in 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 going on and sort of combining um perfume and web3 technology together um this wasn't the center point of my whole of my research so I know there's more going on with the perfume thing specifically. Um, if you guys are really into the perfume thing, I will readdress it. <laughs> but that's kind of it for now. So as you can see, a ton of utility for this project, a ton of partnerships going on. Uh, they were recently in Medicon. Um, I, I couldn't find a place to throw this in, but they were recently in Medicon in Dubai and they had a talk there. You know what I mean? Met some people. They had like a bit of a meetup in Dubai as well for people who were Babes Clan holders. They could go meet them at Medicon. You know what I mean? Talk, talk shop. Anyways, not uh, everything has been fully revealed in terms of how they, uh, you know, how and what they're doing just yet, but they're working on it day by day. Feel free to DM me. My DMs are open for any and all if you want to say anything, tell me anything, or if I miss anything, or you want me to add anything, I'm going to be making more videos or just post a comment down below. If you think I got something wrong, um, I'm looking to make more videos on babes, um, as more comes out and would love to help and would love to help, uh, to make sure that it's as accurate as possible. Shout out to two of the people that helped me out here. I'm going to throw them up on screen. I DM them and they got back to me really quickly as well, too. So I appreciate the help you guys. Um, and that's it, you know. If you guys liked the video, leave a comment down below, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't. If you guys are into this, go head over to the Babes site and Discord if you're interested in getting into the Babes community. They have a ton of stuff going on. So if this, if anything that I said interests you at all, 100% go check them out and just see. You know, one of the biggest things I like is that even though, you know, they didn't start off at the top as high as they are. They were able to bring themselves back up, which is really a testament to their character and what they're doing and how much they're, you know, they're into the space because, you know, they haven't given up yet. And they're working with other projects to make, you know, something, you know, who does this kind of shit? You know what I mean? Like, so anyways, guys, like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. And I'll see you all next time. That's how I end this shit.